Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin. Today is Friday afternoon and I just want to show you guys how easy it is to simply just get a boat for the day at Freedom Boat Club in Winter Haven. So I got off work today at 7 a.m. and I'm out here with my buddy Norm. He got off work at like 11 this morning? Yeah. Like 11. So uh, we messaged each other. I'm like, what are you doing today? He's like, nothing. He's like, what are you doing today? I'm like, nothing. I was like, you want to go on a boat? So really, it's really simple. So basically all you do is there's an app for Freedom Boat Club of Winter Haven and other locations as well. And you just go on there, put a time, see what boats are available, choose the boat, and you're done. You just show up. So, went and got some gas in the old truck here today, and now we're at Winter Haven. So, as you can see, today's a pretty popular day. A lot of the boats are gone, but a lot of the pontoon boats and stuff are still here. Uh, today, we're gonna be on this bass boat right here. We're gonna take it out and cruise. So, it's time to check in. The check-in process is really easy. It takes really just a few minutes. You make sure you got your life jackets, your safety equipment, your um, registration and stuff like that. And then you're off. So we're gonna do that real quick and we're gonna be on the water. So after a simple little check-in, we are now on our way in our bass boat. And so far, all the lakes we passed on the way here are just like glass. You can see the trees, the leaves aren't even moving. There's literally no wind. So it's gonna be a really nice day out here. And uh, I wish it was a little bit warmer. I would have brought my bathing suit and uh, we would have gone swimming today, but the water is just still too cold for this Florida boy. All right, so as we're firing up the GPS, it is so calm out here and it's what? It's 2.14 in the afternoon and it's just gonna be a beautiful day. Norm hasn't been out on the Chain of Lakes since last summer when we took my little boat and we went to the rope swing over there. You remember that? Yeah. We went jumping off the rope swing and everything. So like I said, a little cold for that today. So as soon as it starts warming up, we're gonna do the rope swing, paddle boards, wakeboarding. So basically the summer, Every day we're just going to change it up. We're going to reserve a different boat. One day we're going to get a pontoon boat. We're going to just anchor it out in the middle and just swim off of it and uh, cook and eat and have a good time and drink. And then sometimes we're going to take the bass boat out, do some fishing. We've got the Pathfinder boat now as well. Uh, we've got the Hurricane Deck boats so we can go wakeboarding. So we're in one of the canals going to Lake Ship, and as you can kind of see on the seawall where the water line usually is during the summer, uh, but it's February in Florida, so we haven't had very much rain, so the water's kind of going down. Um, this canal right here says about three feet. At the shallowest point, it said two and a half. So that's why it's important to uh, trim your engine up. You don't want to hit your prop on the bottom or drag it, or sometimes people throw concrete blocks and just random objects uh, into these canals. So. You don't want to uh, damage your prop or your lower unit because that'll be a, an expensive day for just going through a canal. So here we are, lake ship, smooth as glass. And we're gonna scoot across real quick. Gotta trim the engine back down.
we are coming up on the Twisted Prop, which is on Lake May. And we're gonna see how good Norm is at docking a boat, or catching a dock at least. I'm gonna bring her in nice and steady. It's your job to grab the post. Look at that, nice and steady. So we are leaving Twisted Prop and I am uncomfortably full. I hate so much food. We got the uh, deep fried macaroni jalapeno bites and I feel like I just gained 10 pounds, but they're delicious. I think that's like the number one thing if you wanna get an appetizer here is the uh, deep fried macaroni. But I, I cannot believe it, it is 3.30 now and there is still no wind out here. It is all like glass. So since we're on this end of the chain, I think we're gonna go towards Lake Jesse, do a lap around Lake Jesse and work our way back to uh, Lake Eloise. It's starting to get kind of busy. It can be hit and miss on Fridays, but um, and people are going back to work and everything. So people gotta wait till they get off at like five o'clock before they come out to the lake. So it hasn't been that busy today. I think that might be the sheriff's office boat over there, the second one away. Oh, well, we should go board them. So we should go this direction. <laughs> We're going this way. Probably can't outrun them, but. Don't feel like getting boarded today. So we are definitely cooking out here today. It is about 90 degrees and with no wind, so. We're out of the canal, so it's time to get on plane, give us some of that Florida air conditioning, get the wind in our face, and we're gonna make our way through another canal, and we're gonna go to uh, Lake Jesse. So now it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and I cannot believe it, but we literally have had no wind all day. This is Lake Eloise, which is usually one of the choppiest lakes, especially this area right over here. Um, it's pretty big, so you get the wind coming across and it kind of just stirs up all this area over here, but there is literally no wind at all. And today we are in a Crestliner boat. It's pretty nice, I've taken it out before. Um, you got a new trolling motor, you got the Garmin up front. And you got one at the helm right there. You got a little step and it flips up to another little jump seat. You got a nice little leaning post right here. You got one in the back. I honestly, if you haven't been able to tell, I'm not a big fisherman at all, but 
Uh, this is a really good boat. Uh, we took a Lund out of the Harris Channel Lakes. That was a really good boat as well. But this is the one that's uh, available at the Winter Haven uh, Freedom Boat Club. I'm gonna keep today's video pretty short. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to get a boat and come out here and actually get on the boat out on the water. Like I said, you can use the app or if you don't wanna use the app, they have an actual website you can go to to reserve the boats. And it's not just the boats in Winter Haven. You have access to almost 300 boat clubs uh, across the US and outside of the US. There's a couple. Um, so you can go reserve a boat, like say um, scallop season's coming up at the end of summer. We're gonna go to Home Assassa. We can reserve boats out there to go scalloping. Uh, we wanna go to a sandbar at Fort DeSoto. We wanna go to a sandbar at Anna Marie Island. Um, we can uh, reserve boats out there and go out there and spend the day. So uh, like I said, Winter Haven is like my home base. So I can come out here, I can use boats as much as I want, whenever I want. And uh, I try to use them almost every single day. So even if your reason to come out on the water is as simple as just either just killing an afternoon or if you just want to go to lunch and instead of just driving to a restaurant, you said, hey, let's go take a boat somewhere and eat or take someone on a boat that doesn't really get to go on a boat very often. Um, it can be pretty fun. And not just for you for entertaining people, but for your friends that get to uh, come along for the ride. So we are now pulling back into the Freedom Boat Club and it's just smooth as glass. Hopefully the rest of the weekend is like this because we're coming back out Sunday. Saturday we're taking a little boat to a spring and we're coming back out here Sunday on a pontoon boat. It's like we've done this before. Watch your head. So once you have the boat back at the dock, it's basically as simple as just getting your personal items out, walking it across to the truck. Usually someone will come out here and check the boat out and uh, they'll determine how much fuel you used or they'll go fill it up. And I think the most I've ever spent on fuel for a full day was like $28. So. I can come out here all afternoon and uh, spend less than $30 in gas, which is pretty nice. So they're pulling the bass boat around to fuel it up. And I'm just going to stick around because I'm just curious on how much gas we used. I like to tell you guys so you have an idea. We went approximately, I'll have to check, I think we went about 20 miles around the lakes today. So Norm guessed we used two gallons. I'm going to say three, maybe three and a half. I know this bass boat's pretty fuel efficient, so... There's really no telling. So Norm was closer. I said three and a half and it actually came out to 2.1 gallons. So a um, whole afternoon out on the lake and it costs less than less than $10 because they charge $4.50 a gallon here. So not a bad afternoon at all with the Freedom Boat Club of Winter Haven. So like I said, tomorrow we're taking the little boat out to a spring. I don't know which spring we're gonna go to yet, but that'll be a fun video. Uh, probably going to spend all afternoon and then Sunday I have a pontoon boat out here so we're going to enjoy the nice sunny winter in Florida. <laughs> 